we face many challenges when managing projects, especially in the waterfall methodology that created the need for change and evolve. Hence, the Agile methodology transpires. Assalamu alaikum, I hope all is well. The difference between Agile and Scrum is that while Agile is a project management methodology that uses a core set of values or principles, we can say that it is an umbrella under which we have different frameworks, as we can see, one of which is Scrum, which is the most known and used framework that enables individuals, team, institutions to provide products with the highest possible value through adaptive solutions to complex problems. Let's zoom in to Scrum Framework. The word Scrum describes the gathering of players in rugby sport, showing the cohesion of the players moving forward to achieve their goal. Scrum is based on three pillars. One, transparency. All of the team knows where we are going and what is happening in the project or product. Two, inspection. We ensure the work quality while we are doing it. Three, adaptation. One of the most important agile criteria to show flexibility and change direction and strategy in order to achieve the better value for our customer. Scrum consists of five values. Commitment. We individually commit to achieve our goals. Focus. We focus only on our goals and the sprint backlog. Openness. We and our stakeholders agree to be transparent about our work and challenges. Respect. We respect each other to be technically capable and to work with good intent. And finally, courage. We have the courage to work through conflict and challenges together. How do we implement Scrum? Starting from the bigger picture, we define the product vision, followed by planning, and then we implement what we have planned, test it, and review it with the client. So we have potential shippable product. Will it be the same iteration or sprint, which is usually one to four weeks? One of the clear examples of this way of working is the update of mobile operating system after the main product is released. We achieve value for the customer and users. The team continues to issue updates and improvement every few weeks. Let's further zoom in on one of the sprints. It begins with the vision and the customer's input, based on which we define the product features, populating the product backlog that is the responsibility of the product owner. Then the team, which comprises the product owner, the Scrum Master, and the development team, will meet at their first ceremony, which is Sprint Planning, in which the Sprint features will be identified, showing what is the value of this Sprint, what will be accomplished, and how will it be accomplished. Accordingly, we will have a Sprint Backlog, with the features and user stories to be done in this Sprint. While the work continues in the sprint, the team will have the second ceremony, which is the daily scrum or daily stand-up. As the name suggests, it is a daily meeting for the team, usually for a quarter of an hour at the beginning of the day, discussing what was done on the previous working day, what will be done today, and what are the impediments that the team is facing to facilitate their resolution. The sprint ends with the sprint review in which we take the customer's feedback, comments, and approval. Accordingly, the product or part of it is potentially shippable. The last ceremony is retrospective. One of the competitive advantages of Scrum, we discuss the sprint that just ended, what we did right, what we did wrong, the problem we faced, and what can be improved in the following sprints. Feeding back the backlog, we begin the following sprint planning stronger with more information about the strengths and weaknesses and about the customer and their requirements and expectations having improvement to each sprint scrum consists of four ceremonies that we talked about sprint planning daily scrum review or demo and the retrospective all of which must be attended by the entire team the product owner the scrum master and the development team only in the sprint review ceremony, the customer will attend as well. Scrum has a set of tools and templates called artifacts, such as the product backlog, which includes the features of the product and user stories, describing the user requirements by writing the user role in the product, what they want, why do they want it, and what are the acceptance criteria. We will discuss in another video 
the user story and the difference between epic features and user story and how to estimate the story points. Other artifacts are sprint backlog and the burn down chart, which illustrates the work left to do. Scrum team is self-organized. Its roles are product owner, who is responsible for maximize the product value, set product goals and agree on sprint goals, ensure product backlog is clearly expressed, order, update, and refine the product backlog. A Scrum Master, help the Scrum team to perform at their highest level, facilitate their work, and protect them from internal and external distraction. Scrum Master utilizes the servant leadership approach, which includes being the leader, coach, protector, defender, and facilitator. Finally, development team, the main pillar of the implementation of the product, self-organized. They are responsible for planning and estimating the required work the quality of work in line with the definition of done and adaptation to achieve the goals of the sprint. The responsibility will be shared between them as a team, not as individuals, so they are holding each other accountable as professionals. Today, we discussed Scrum, its pillars, values, framework, and team. That is a good start for your Scrum Master journey and certification. Remember, agility is principally about mindset, not processes. Thank you for your time. See you soon with another topic, inshallah.